All right, guys, what's going on? More World of Warcraft. So, this one, um, it's this. I believe this is like a little mini series. I mean, at least under the uh, WoW playlist, it is. Um, it's from a series called Heartbringers, Heart, Har, Harbor, Harbingers. I can't fucking read <laughs> Harbingers. Goo damn. Now, I, of course, me being me. And you know me learning about world of warcraft the only thing i know from wodan is what i was showing with you know elden and stone rage and that whole kind of saga in warcraft 3 because i the only thing i really know about Gudan is that you know he was like this this powerful powerful mage that had all this knowledge and such that elden absorbed his skull what happened after that you know blah blah but nevertheless let's dive a little i mean it's good for me because i get to dive a little bit more into Gul'dan, 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 and you know what was his you know role and purpose i understand the character a little bit more feel a little bit more connected to the world so now talk no long intros let's go also i'm hoping that i'm kind of doing all of this in the right order did they know there's another series on this channel? I think it's called Warbringers. I think that's where I was getting the name confused. Where some of you guys also said you no know, for me to check that stuff out. I mean, and the more I dig into World of Warcraft, the more I see how big this fucking universe is. So I can kind of understand a little bit more why <laughs> why Blizzard would get some things wrong. Because this, this thing is huge. I mean, the game's been out for, what, 20, I want to say 20 years? maybe more than that I mean including War Warcraft 3 so I mean I can understand how some things would get lost in the sauce but nevertheless let me check out this trailer okay hopefully I got everything balanced too Blizzard Entertainment Harbingers, Gul'dan. No one living has heard of the village of my birth. Oh, what the fuck? in this clan. Now, we rid ourselves of your filth once and for all. Get it over with. Oh, even now you test me! Enough! I have tried hmm. to help him find his place among us. I failed. Gul'dan. There's nothing more I can do for you. But no, I have always believed there is greatness within you. Seek out the throne of the elements. Perhaps there you will find your destiny. Be gone, cripple! You are cast out. In the wastes, you will understand what it means to have no people. Damn. Oh, he's deformed? More than the clan would ever allow of me. And I hated them for it. But after months alone and starving, I began to consider that the safety and shelter of a clan. Well, that's fucked up. Just watching the buzzards waiting for you to die. Suffering. Damn, he is tiny. Fuck them birds. The bitterness that had sustained me all my life ate at me until nothing was left. Oh, 
Holy shit. In my weakness, the words of the old shaman pierced the cold. Seek out the throne of the elements. <clears throat> there, humbled and broken, I offered myself in the service of whatever would end. Holy shit! I would never again grovel for a place in this world. Instead, I would forge a world that would grovel before me. Thank you. I found my destiny. Why'd he cook the shaman? No one living has heard of the village of my birth. And no one ever will. Kingdoms will burn. Bro, I thought that was the Legion. Holy shit. So that's how it happened. <laughs> Dude made, literally made a deal with the devil. Bro, that, bro, that was so... Oh, that was so good. That was so good. Bro, that's how you build up the lore in the story. Like, I mean, even now, I'm. I mean, let me know down in the comments. Does anyone even know the, the village of Rudan? Like his uh. I mean, because it looked like the guy just straight up scorched, the thing from the planet. Wow. So. Cause I'm thinking. So this means that Gudon has always been working for the Legion. But I mean in Warcraft 3, I mean of course we got like a little bit of story with them. But I mean at least at the time of you know the Legion's uprising and him working with the Scourge. Like he's like long he's like long past dead. So I mean how how many years has this been since I, I'm like I'm thinking about like the actual time difference from when that took place with Gul'dan until uh, you know everything with Warcraft 3 
I don't believe they gave us a at least I don't at least at the time I'm doing this I don't remember them giving us like a time of you know how far back you know these events happen so that was good man that was good if Blizzard buckled down and made all of this like a like a really long like Netflix series with like seasons upon seasons like the fucking Harry Potter movies <laughs> I mean I know I know those are movies you know can't really compare those seasons but if they really flesh out all of this like they could dick they could really you know gain a lot a lot of people I mean that's coming from you know a guy who you know so who's like most like mostly a, a world of work I mean not a Final Fantasy player damn I'm gonna have to check out the other ones um there's another one called uh Kad Kadar Kadar I so far in Warcraft 3 I don't know of this character so I don't know if I'm gonna be reacting to that you know once I get to that point where I kind of get some insight on him or you know just gonna do like a blind reaction but let me know what you guys think about this down in the comments below <sighs> that was incredible <laughs> That was just incredible. Like these short stories that like that give so much depth and insight to a character, man. I, I love that. <sighs> Take care. Bye bye.